Hello all. Welcome to my garden. I can feel that sun. Boy, it's glorious. My budgie's just psycho as normal. <laughs> Hello everyone. Um, I've been feeling much better now. Um, uh, with regards to what happened last time, uh, if you remember, I my house got robbed and my camera got stolen. Um, I'm in the process of getting a new camera and it won't be very long before I get a new camera. Um, I've just about almost saved up some the right amount of money for it. Um, with regards to my stalker, I've got a document from my housing mob saying that he has been stalking me and I'll be taking that to the police to make a form, formal report about that. Um, they're also, the housing mob's also going to have a chat with him uh, um, and warn him that if he continues doing what he's doing, he's going to be in trouble. Um, I actually went to the pub last Thursday night and he wasn't there and I didn't get followed, so I was happy with that. Um, I'm still a bit on edge, but what can you do? Um, not much to report in my garden. What was I going to do over here? Oh yes, I was going to harvest some carrots, but they haven't been growing terribly well. It's my kneeling pad. When you get old, you need one of these. <laughs> uh, oh, look at the reeds in this garden. In fact, I think the reeds have completely taken over. Um, and I don't know if I can actually get in there and get some carrots out so this could prove difficult they've been in the garden bed for about oh, oh, about <laughs> about five months now you would think that they would have grown just that little bit better huh hmm see me and carrots don't go well together may as well leave them there for the birds Excuse me, onions. This is not a very good design with regards to um, space around the garden bed to kneel down and <laughs> pull out your carrots kind of thing. And yeah. Ooh. Yeah. I have no luck with carrots. Seriously. And actually, it's a pretty good looking view down here. I'm curious about this. Oops, bending my onions there. Um, see if there's anything here. I'm always digging up bulbs and finding out whether I've got anything or not. <laughs> and I know I shouldn't do that. And we've got roots okay but it is starting to thicken up in some parts of the garden the celery is absolutely going bananas and then we might actually get a little harvest of celery spinach is just going nuts and i've been doing some reading over there um and it's a garden bed that I like to put more veggies in but it gets 90% shade so I don't know what else to put in there so we'll see how we go oh I did a good job of bending the onions oopsie I hope they recover um all oh, my both bushes are doing so well oh, oh my nasturtiums flowered A nice little flower there. Weeds are flowering too. <laughs> I still have this tomato plant and it's still flowering and I put it right next door to the lavender bush because the lavender is just full of bees so with a bit of luck they might find the flowers on the tomato plant and oh, if anything of edge race from that I'm laughing. I am that desperate for tomatoes it's not funny. <laughs> Up here, um, 
Yes, I have an overgrown lawn up here. I have my lemon tree, which is actually starting to shoot again, which is good. There's some sparks coming out there. I'm not sure that's what they're supposed to do, but um, I think it's coming to life again, which is good because, as you can see, <laughs> it's not looking very good right now. Um, lavender bush, rosemary, still doesn't want to do anything. Garlic's going okay, strawberries don't want to go red. Might be a bit too early, but I've actually planted out some zucchini seeds and I haven't seen them pop up yet, so I don't know what's going on there. I've still got a few loose potato pots around the joint. Um, I got rid of that spinach. And I planted some sweet potatoes in the container. Now I don't know if it's going to work because they were very tiny. And they looked a bit shrivelly. But my tomato seeds are still going well. Um, so what I might do is I might update it once a fortnight. Um, purely because time just flies away with me and I'm going to be so busy. Um, in the next couple of weeks, months actually, I've got a gonna have a, get my new camera. Um, I got a U2 concert to go to in October, no November. I got a Dash Hound meeting to go to in October, which I'm actually the president of. So just you know, life gets in the way, kind of thing, and you just um, and your garden just gets out of control and. Sometimes you just have to um, find the time to... I should be doing more reading over here, but um, it took me three days to do this like it was that overgrown, so I'm a bit worried actually as to all the reeds. But, yeah, and down here... Um, Basil, parsley, I need some more herbs. Not much has changed down here, but the sedum is really starting to come along, which is good. Um, I gave it a drink of water last night, so I think it enjoyed that. There was another shoot there. There it is. So I'm actually waiting on a lady to bring me some more pot plant stands, but I don't like my chances of her turning up because she said if I had the time I'd bring him over today. It's already half past two and I haven't seen she's got to drop him off by my front door and I hadn't seen her or seen the stuff that she was bringing over. I'm into freebies for the garden and that wine barrel at the top there was found on the side of the road and they're normally like $100, $150 in the shops here in Australia, so that was a really good bargain. <laughs> that was a really good find. And she advertised this stuff for $18 on Facebook, and she said, oh, you can have it for free if you want. And she wanted me to come and pick it up, but I haven't got a car. So she said, oh, I'll try and drop it off at your place if I can. But so far, I haven't seen her. Um, she, if she has kids, she might probably do it after three o'clock, you know, school pick-up hour and everything. But we'll see how we go. I'm not expecting her to turn up at all, really. Um, if I get these three goods, all is well. If I don't, all is even better. So, that's the story. We're having a nice sunny day, as you can see. And I'm actually enjoying the colours of my garden at the moment. It is just, it's still not much, it's still a lot of green, but you can see it taking shape. I think that's the best part about a garden is that when you start working on it and you see it actually working for you, then you know you've done well. Except for the carrots. That's the second time I have, you know, I've um, 
harvest the carrots like that. I'm really at my wit's end with carrots, so um, I can't get them nice and long like you guys. Carrots, that is. <laughs> so, my neighbour up there, is he? I don't mix and mingle with my neighbours. I don't, I don't like them. <laughs> I just keep to myself and they don't like that. Apparently I'm supposed to be social. But, yeah, nah, I'm not. If I had a choice, if I really had a choice, I would love to own a piece of property in the country with no neighbours. Pure isolation. That's me. <laughs> now I'm rambling. Okay, alright, so I will leave it there. And, yeah, we'll have to do some more research on how to grow carrots, I think. Okay, catch you all later on this beautiful sunny day. Abaji Louis and I say bye bye.